A meat product that has surely grown in popularity at your local butcher shop is the beef stick. Uh, nowadays, they come in a wide array of flavors that can be as big as the butcher's imagination. Tonight, we travel to Elk River Meats, a family-owned butcher shop where folks say if you just try one, it's sure to make you happy. Elk River has seen some major changes in the last 40 years. This block on Main Street used to have a hardware store, a grocery store, and a filling station, but it's now mostly a parking lot. Save one small business that stood in defiance to the wrecking ball. We heard uh, it was for sale up here, and uh, Dad goes, hey, why don't we go up and give it a shot? It was 1971, and Mark Robeck was still in high school when his dad, Elmer, along with his brother, Ron, bought the business which had been in this spot since the turn of the century. The people didn't really, you know, trust new people back then. But the Robecks were good at their trade. And recognizing the needs of their customers. But we always want, we took care of the farmers because this was farm community then. As this farm community evolved into a bedroom community, they attracted new customers by maintaining their old practices. And they liked the old fashioned, you know, people waiting on them. And In 1975, Elmer came up with a new product idea and a name for it that was nothing short of marketing genius. Ended up calling them happy sticks. <laughs> I just had one. I'm happy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfectly seasoned, slow smoked handful of goodness that couldn't be more aptly named. And they sell a lot of them. So, in three days, every week, every three days, you'll sell 400 pounds. Pretty much, yeah. Yet, a tour through this little butcher shop really shows their diversity of products. I'm making Swedish sausage. And their attention to detail. People really go crazy over that. They love it. This is our room where we put the finished product. All of which is double smoked and was almost more than this carnivore could take. The wieners, ring bologna. Bob shows off his products like other guys show their trophy cases. This is my favorite room so far, Bob. <laughs> but there's a lot of work that has to be done before the meat can hang in here. We're going to make some sausage. See if you can, you can twist them and cut them over here. Pinch, twist, yeah. little cut. There you go. All right. Now we're moving along. Pinch. Standing shoulder to shoulder with Bob making sausage for a while helps you understand that this would be a tough job if you didn't have the passion for it. But when the retail doors open on Thursday morning, a new person comes in and says, uh, geez, I've never been in here before. They get a happy stick right away. And then we get them hooked. <laughs> the happy stick's the gateway drug. Next thing you know, you got them on Porterhouse and T Bones, and a couple of years they're buying fillets. So it looks like Bob will be keeping with the Robeck tradition for a while. They'll probably get lynched if we close the place up. Pinch, pinch, twist. And me, when I'm not at the anchor desk, I'll be at my new gig in Elk River. Pinch. Bob is paying me in happy sticks. Pinch, twist. Twist. Yep. Hi, I'm Bob Robeck, owner of Elk River Meats, and we're the, the best, best beef sticks in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yay! Yay. <laughs> uh, that's Sean cool. and Mary who help them. Uh, Elmer passed away sadly a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Ron's re retired, but they love what they're doing. So, did you guys pick up on that? I mean, they're they they are only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because How about that. Before that, they're going in, and every week they make everything that you saw is made in three days, and then it's blown out of the doors in three days because everyone goes there. And if you go there on Saturday, it's thirty people deep. Looking for happy sticks and everything else. These are great. I'm hooked, like Bob was talking about. You get hooked off yeah, these happy sticks. Yeah, I like the thin casing on them. The so beef. you really, you know, yeah. All natural casing, very important to them. Much more expensive, uh, but worth it. And it shows, right? I'm kind of sad he sees me eating this because I want to go in there and go, geez, I've never been in here before. <laughs> I'm get a free <laughs> happy stick, one. yes. He might give you one anyway. Might, yeah. Uh, next week, we are looking for your pick for best musky fishing in Minnesota. How about that? Mm. Head to wccocom slash best of MN. To vote. Yeah, aren't these good? Fantastic. Everything, everything in there Can was you talk? good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm clear okay. as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs>